Mapp, the nominated actor and officer of the British Empire, and if that isn't enough, Oprah is godmother to his children. His new limited series, The Girl Before, premieres Thursday on HBO Max. Please welcome David Oyelowo. <laughs> Here. How are you doing? Very, very well. I very heard, well. before we start, I heard you have a message to impart to Channing Tatum. I do, I do. I have a photographic audition for him. I don't know if we have it um, anywhere. There, there you go. So, uh, oh, wow, look at you. This is, uh, this is my audition for Magic Mike. I don't want him to feel threatened. Um, <laughs> but uh, what, what do you think, Channing? Uh, well, he's, uh, he's gone, I guess, but can you Of course you dance? he's gone. He saw the picture. Are you a good dancer? <laughs> Am I a good dancer? Yeah. I can move. You can move. All right. Well, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. I, yeah, by yeah, the yeah. way, I'm sure he would be happy to chat with you about that. Okay. I hope he's still here. <laughs> you uh, you look very buff. And was that for a film that you got that, or is that just you? That was actually for it. It is me, but it was also for the girl before the, uh -huh. the show I have coming out on HBO on Thursday. Right. And um, I thank you, thank you on HBO Max. Um, yeah, and I, I, I play a, a, an architect who's a perfectionist, and that is in his architecture and in his And body. his physical architecture his, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that. Did you think about that beforehand, or was that something that was imparted to you as part of the character? And somebody say, yes, everything about him is perfect. Yeah, I guess when you're building a character, you, you, you know, I try to take a holistic approach. If he's a perfectionist, that's going to, you know, weave into pretty much everything in his life, which he absolutely is. So, yes, it's also a good excuse to stay in shape. Um, yes, it uh, is. Which my wife was very happy Your wife with. likes yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but that'll make you feel bad about the whole rest of the time if you're not in that same shape, right? Well, f funny you should say that, because I, you know, I played Dr. King in a film called Selma. Right, and, that's uh, right. You know, yes. And he was, yeah, he was not quite Thank as... Thank you. He, he was a lot of things, a lot of great things, but, um, you know, in that kind of physical condition, he was not. Um, and so my, uh, my wife did have to endure man boobs for quite a few months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how long have you lived here in L.A.? Um, nearly 15 years now. 15 yeah. years. You have, what, four kids? Yep, I do. They Four do. kids, yeah. and you have an extended family. I thought this was very interesting. I living do. in the United States, yeah. in what part of the country? In Maryland. You, yeah. How did yeah. you? This is a yeah. Your family. They, they all are. They're and my family. Yeah. Had you been in touch with them, or how did you come to uh, this so, family reunion? Yeah. When I when I first moved here, I had a a, a bunch of people reach out to me saying, "I'm your cousin." Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> You know where this is going. Uh, <laughs> pay for my school fees and my house. Um, so I, I ignored anyone who said, I'm your cousin uh, on social media or anything like that. And it turns out I have tens and tens of cousins, actual cousins. Living here. It, living here. And, uh, and so we all uh, got together before this whole pandemic thing. And there's so many of us in America. That's fun to yeah. meet all these people that you're related to. Did you have people in common that you figured out? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, like, they are my cousin cousins. They're like, like your first like, cousins? Yeah, some of them are. Really? But they kept on saying they're my cousins, and other people said they were my cousins, and they wanted me to pay for their school fees. So, you know, I ignored yeah. them. I had a lot of apologizing. You know, them. yeah, they were yeah. definitely bad-mouthing you, like, oh, who does he think he is? For he years. won't get back to his cousins. For years. We, yeah. Our parents are brother and sister. I know. He's in movies now. He yeah. thinks he's above us. He works out. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. going to be in Magic Mike 3. <laughs> 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 Yes. Tell, tell now. Tell us. You told us a little bit about your character yeah. in the girl before um, yeah. an architect. Yeah. What is the the show about specifically? So the girl before um, uh, centers around these two women: uh, Emma, as played by Jessica Plummer, and Jane, as played by Gugu Mbata Raw. Mm -hmm. They both have had these traumas in their lives, so they're looking for answers and. I'm an architect who also has had this situation whereby his wife had passed away. He has something called repetition compulsion. So she passes away tragically. And repetition compulsion is you keep going back to the moment of trauma in order to fix your life and continue from that point. So he builds this house as a honey trap to attract women who look a bit like his wife. And that is both Jessica Plummer 
and Gugum Batro in different timelines. And you see the relationship he has with these two women in a three-year So this gap. is a Honey Trap movie you've made. It's a Honey Trap movie. We have yeah. a clip from the movie, and it's called The Girl Before, or the series, rather, The Girl Before. Thank you. <gasps> Emily. I'll get a cloth. No need, no need, no need, Alicia. Them, would you? Don't worry, don't worry. They were very bad drawings. I should have abandoned them weeks ago. May, I'm so sorry. Word of advice, Simon. You never apologize for someone you love. It makes you look like a prick. That's actually good advice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. He's a bad guy, though, right? I mean, he is a complex guy. Is it I, more I fun say. to play a complex guy, which is code for bad? Right? <laughs> yeah. um, absolutely. I mean, I, I haven't been afforded this kind of role before. I was so yeah, glad. Yeah, you usually when... play like, a, well, yeah. Dr. Martin Luther, Martin Luther King, King you know, and you know. Um, but yeah, Gugu Umbatero was actually the one who called me. Uh, she's an associate producer on the show, and I think as a fellow actor, she knows that as an actor, you're always looking for roles the likes of which you haven't played before. Right. So yeah, I still have to ask her though why she thought this guy, because he is questionable. Do but, you, uh, uh, will you watch the Super Bowl or do you follow uh, football? It's the LA Rams, I You're live in LA. Rams. Abs yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Are you gonna have like a thing, a little party at the house? I think we're gonna have a thing. You know, I'm, I can't confess to watching football every weekend, but this is a must and you know, and uh, Dr. Dre is a friend of mine. Cannot wait for the halftime oh, show. Oh, Dr. Dre is a friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. cool thing to be able to say. It's, and, it's a, and, <laughs> and it's a true thing. Dr. Dre is a yeah. friend of mine. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, so you're going to be watching yeah. The Doctor at halftime. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's great absolutely. to have you here. Thank David you. Oyelowo, it's uh, The Girl Before. It premieres Thursday night, HBO Max. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.